Hey there everyone, I'm Michael, and I am back with another development time lapse. This time I'm probably going to get rid of all the background noise, so if you don't hear any background noise, that's why. Anyways, um, before I cut to music, uh, because I will do that this time, um, I just wanted to talk about some recent events with Astrophaser Central yet again. Uh, I know I keep bringing it up, but um, this is probably the last time, because I have decided to step down from Astrophaser Central staff team. Um, yeah, I'm done. <laughs> um, let's just say the staff got in a bit of a riot while I was recording this time lapse, actually. Um, and well, I guess I got caught in the middle of it. Um, I didn't let it get too much uh, towards me, but I decided that, well, I mean, the staff team really isn't willing to listen to the community's feedback. Some of them are. It took me stepping in uh, before editing this to deal with it. Um, but uh, I have decided that I have, well, the best thing to do for me at least is to step down. Uh, that way I can focus more on school assignments and hit the West. Uh, and focus less on Astral Phaser Central and dealing with a staff team who can't really, well, I, they can manage them themselves, but it requires a real, well, butt kicking to do so. Um, and well, the thing with Astral Phaser Central is it wasn't really meant to be a full on Discord server, it wasn't meant to be this big, it was just meant as a way for Philip Adams to run the weekly hats, uh, so that he would have a place for people to join with those weekly hats. Uh, but um, he didn't originally create the server. Rylan, uh, the or one of the Hifos developers, and he is now um, taking or taken out of the staff team, but he's still a developer. Uh, not sure what I'll do about his access to the YouTube channel. Um, I'll get into that in a bit. Um, he he created the server for Phil, um, so for a while he owned it. He it was his name on that server. Um, well, of course not really. It was still called Astrophaser Central, but to Discord his name was on that server. Um, so we had to get ownership handed over to Phil because the server was getting big. It was getting popular. Uh, right now it's got. 600 plus members on it, if I recall correctly, um, and people were starting to realize that Rylan was kind of well, taking advantage of the fact he owned the server. He had complete control over it. He could ban anyone. He could even ban Phil. Um, so that was a bit worrying to some people. So we got all of that, but unfortunately he still kept his sort of server owner role and people still kind of thought that he was using that role as a way to confuse people. Um, I'm not saying that's what he was doing. I'm saying that's what people thought he was. Um, and I'm not going to lie, me and Rylan both have made some mistakes on that staff team, but um, he was a bit more reluctant to improve on those mistakes. So uh, he's been stepped down. Uh, and I've been stepped down, both of us due to stress, and, well, we may come back in the future, who knows, it depends on what the community wants, and how our times go. Um, now the reason Rylan got demoted from staff when he the West, is for the same reason he got demoted from Astral Phaser Central. But the difference between Astral Phaser Central is, I've always been the owner of the Shift the West server. Um, it's... It's my game, really. It, it's Phil's game, but I'm I'm the lead developer of it nowadays. So in a way, it's my game. Um, so I run the community, and well, I'm a bit more laid back than Rylan. <laughs> I'm a bit more laid back than Victor Tran, actually. Heck, I find myself breaking my own rules. <laughs> That's probably not a good trait, and I'm trying to work on that. Um, so there is a bit of a difference in the communities of Shift West and Astral Phases Central. It's the same people, but they behave differently. Um, and that's 
Well, because the staff teams behave differently, and they're run by different-minded people. I don't run the staff team of Astrophaser Central. I barely have a say in what goes on with them. <laughs> I'm too busy working on Shift OS. Um, Victor Tran, Phil, they have a say. Phil doesn't really step in often because remember that the server wasn't made to be what it is today. It was made simply for weekly shots. Uh, so Phil doesn't really step in on it. Um, Rylan does have a pretty big say, and that's a problem. It's not his server, and unlike me, Victor Tran, and the other people in the administration team, Astrophaser Central was Rylan's first experience as an admin. Um, that and shift OS. Me, I've been doing it for years. Victor Tran, he's got the shell. And Cameron, which is the other uh, Astrophaser admin, he ran shift OS at one point. He wasn't the lead developer, but he ran the forum. So all of us, except for Rylan, have experience running communities. Um, and we know all the tricks. And we know all the... Well, we know, well, when to ban people, when to kick people, when to enforce rules, when not to enforce rules, uh, what rules should be put in place, and what rules shouldn't be put in place, and what's common sense. But, unfortunately, Rylan doesn't really know that, and, well, he's been given a good run, but, unfortunately, for now, he's, he's going to need to be cut off both teams, and me, I've got to be cut off Astrophaser Central, because I want more time with Shift OS and doing what I do best and not stressing over it. So from now on, I'm all Shift OS and all school. Um, yeah, I just wanted to talk about that. Anyways, um, in this time lapse, and I just talked about that for a really long time, um, in this time lapse I've implemented a feature that I thought was really necessary for more advanced skins in Shift OS. The ability to customize buttons and progress bars, to make them look however you want them to. And I'll be honest, they look kind of cool after I was done with this. Um, now there's actually an effect for when you hover over a button or when you click a button, and there's now the ability to choose between continuous or blocked progress bars, choose the width of the blocks if you're in block mode, choose the color of both the foreground and background of progress bars, all that stuff. And you can even apply images. Um, I actually took inspiration for the progress bars from Timehack, because I am a Timehack developer. Um, I just don't do it as often as ShiftOS, because ShiftOS is really my thing, and it's what I'm known for. Timehack is really just, but when I'm not developing ShiftOS, um, I've got that. Um, I actually added time hack or gave them the ability to do sort of the similar thing. It's not as lenient as Shift OS in that you can't customize it in game, but let's say when they're making Windows Vista, they can make the progress bars of the user interface and the but well they can't do buttons yet. That's my next thing. Um, they can make their progress bars look like Vista. They can use the Vista Aurora progress bar theme, but in Windows 95, they can do the dark blue blobs, and in Windows XP, they can do the Windows XP style progress bar. If they ever do Linux, they can do that, and if they ever do, I don't know, um, a text-based operating system, they can make their progress bars look text-based. Um, so yeah, um, that's where I took inspiration from it, or from. Uh, time hack. So I decided to add it to Shift OS and give it a bit more flavor in that you can customize it in game and way more. Um, so yeah, beta 2.5, uh, you'll probably be able to fully recreate Ubuntu 10.4. Who knows? You probably won't be able to do the bottom panel with the panel buttons and everything, but you can do most of the usual interface. Anyways, I've been Michael. I don't know how much of the video is left, 
um i will see you guys in the next video